I think the thing that scares people is the term research. Being in a research study, it's not a bad experience. I want to be in more. <laughs> in her late 70s, my mom started having memory problems. She wouldn't remember to eat. The last five years of her life, she probably didn't know who I was. It's, I get emotional about it. Uh, because just about everybody in my mother's family has experienced dementia and Alzheimer's. I got a newsletter. They said, if you have a history of memory problems in your family, we're looking for people to be in a clinical study. So I talked to my doctor. She said, Kay, you have nothing to lose. So I enrolled in the five-year study. It was easy. Our participants get a lot of support and attention from our staff. We do a thorough evaluation of your body and of the brain. Every study has certain things that they want you to do, but you are in control of what you participate in. It was a lot less intimidating knowing that I had a choice to opt out of something that I might not want to do. Butter, mountain, trailer, castle, lemon, quarter. All right. I am so grateful to be a scientist at this point where we have the support from the government and the resources available. And now what's missing? We need participants. We have this incredible opportunity to find a cure, but we cannot do this unless we have the help of our community members. This just came out in November. It has an asymmetrical closure. I don't have Alzheimer's. I don't have dementia. But I think I'm a value to the study because I don't. They need to compare healthy people to people who may have dementia. I know that the first person cured of Alzheimer's disease will be in a clinical trial. I hope I'm that person in case down the road I have Alzheimer's. I volunteer. 